All right, I just wanted to show you my enclosed trailer here. This is a eight foot wide by 20 feet deep with a V-nose. And I just wanted to do something with the flooring. So uh, I just rolled out one roll of this stuff. I got two rolls from Lowe's and uh, it's not cheap, but I think it's gonna be easy. It's seven and a half feet wide uh, and like I said, the trailer is eight feet wide. So there is a little tiny gap here. I think I'm just gonna paint it black or something to make it look good. Uh, I rolled it out yesterday. It seems to have be settling in pretty well. It says to use a push broom and push out like all of the uh, bubbles and stuff from it to make it flat. Over here are the tie downs. So I'm gonna have to cut around that area so the tie down can be seen through it. And then of course, I'm gonna trim around here on both sides and it's gonna come all the way out to my other tie downs. So uh, of course I will cut out around them and uh, with this other piece, we're just kind of letting it uh, get some of the wrinkles out overnight. I'm just gonna measure from here to the wall cut out a little strip for that. What I'm still trying to decide is if I'm gonna use the leftover roll here to um, do the ramp. My thoughts are this stuff is, uh, it's got the little diamonds on it for traction and grip, but it is vinyl. Uh, so if I put it on here and I try to load a car in the wet, I'm thinking that wood is gonna have better traction than this stuff. It might be too slippery, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if it would be better to leave this as wood or to use this vinyl roll. I'll put a link to this stuff in the description. It was about $220 a roll, $210, $200, somewhere around there. Um, so not cheap, but I think it's going to be super easy and look pretty good. Oh, and the instructions say no adhesive needed. It doesn't have any kind of sticky backing or anything like that. Um, I might get some kind of adhesive and just do the edges or something. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it sits. I think when I cut this out and it fits in there, it's gonna help it even move less. But uh, let me know what you guys have used, if you've used any adhesive on this kind of stuff before, or just let it sit. Uh, Oh yeah, this stuff cuts like butter. Just putting the knife up against the wall and drop it down. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna let it sit like this for a while and uh, become flat and then I can trim that up. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next trailer upgrade video.